Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where I think my workout may have killed my dog. Man, he's not moving. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You tired? His eyes are moving, but the rest of him isn't. Today, we are talking about Superman number 23, and the second story, Habitual Murder. A attempt at a murder mystery? It's not a murder mystery. That feels almost like an episode of Columbo, but definitely is not a murder mystery. Actually, I think Columbo would have handled this much better than Superman. He's in love with one of his female students, but she's engaged to another student who is also one of his students. So he comes up with an idea to get rid of him. He's going to frame him for murder of the Dean. He comes up with like some sort of fake cheating so he can bring the kid in front of the Dean so they're all there. So he just pulls out a gun and shoots the Dean and then claims it was him. Now, I was going to point out when I was reading this story that this is a really dumb plan with lots of flaws. But the story agrees with me because on trial, everyone points him out. In fact, there's a huge window right next to the dean's office that everybody could have seen this happen. In fact, many people did see it happen. So yes, he is convicted, and before he's sent to prison, he threatens to kill every single person who put him away, which Superman takes seriously. The rest of the witnesses do not. He, of course, ends up breaking out due to luck and guard stupidity. So far... He's mainly done a really terrible plan, like an incredibly stupid plan, and just been very lucky. Yet they call him an evil mastermind later in the story. I doubt that. So he ends up killing one of the witnesses by poisoning the witness's pipe. He's following people, watching what they do, and finding their habits, and finding a way to murder them through those habits. So this is the only guy he succeeds in killing that wasn't the Dean. In fact, this is actually a better plan than his other two plans. I don't even know if we can say his escape from prison was a plan. He just got really lucky. But once he does that, Superman kind of understands what he's doing and is on the case and stops pretty much every other attempt at killing someone. Why he wasn't on the case when he knew this guy was free and wanted to murder these people to begin with to stop the first murder? I don't know. They just wanted that death. So luck is not very successful until Lois, who happens to be writing a novel about her and Superman, a romance novel. Now remember, they're not actually in a relationship right now, but she's writing a romance novel. Is this the inspiration for the romance novel that Lois is writing in the new adventures of Lois and Clark? That was a little subplot. Or could you even call it a subplot? It was just like a joke where Jimmy would read excerpts from it. But she also writes articles about how, like, Superman is making Locke look like an idiot, so he's going to kill Lois. So he positions his sniper rifle across the street and shoots at the silhouette of Lois. You probably see where this is going. It's actually a dummy of Lois. Superman completely expected this to happen. Also, where does Superman and Batman keep getting these dummies? Are they just really good at making dummies of the people they love? I want a dummy making scene. So Superman confronts him and he tries to jump to his death. Superman saves him before he hits the ground. Oh my god, Superman saved somebody. Like, Superman of 20 issues ago would have not cared to, to save that guy jumping to his death. And then he throws him 20 feet into a police truck. That might have killed him. So it's a story that's kind of dumb. It's not a murder mystery, though it wants to be a murder mystery. Though, I think I enjoy it just because it's Superman saving the day and even the villain because... That's what he does. So yeah, mild recommendation of the second story. Remember, not recommend the first story. Propaganda. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Friday is Bat Friday where I cover a Batman story, neither Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man of tomorrow? And where is he getting these dummies? I need answers. Okay, have a great day.